I got a lot of questions about how I started my tomatoes after I posted a seedling picture on MI Gardener. And this is what I used to start my seeds in. This is a, an oversized six pack that I found on Amazon. You can see it's much larger than a normal six pack. So I planted two seeds in each cell and I used a Jiffy seed starting mix that's organic. And then I put them inside and I'll, I'll take you upstairs and show you what I did from there. So here's my grow room. This is where I keep all my plants before they go outside. And these are all my tomatoes. This is uh, 14 different varieties and I've got about three of each one. But before I get to that, let's look down here on the bottom shelf. This is where I put all my plants, um, or all my seeds, before they germinate. So I have some flowers in there right now, but for the tomatoes I put them in here right after I put the seeds in the, in the, the six packs and then I have a, a heat mat on the bottom and that's set to 75 degrees so I cover it with this plastic um, to keep in the, the moisture and then I cover it with this blanket to keep the light out because you want to you want to keep the keep it in the dark because if they start germinating and there's light in there they're gonna get really leggy really fast so I check them twice a day for germination and once they start popping out of the out of the dirt then I'll bring them up here under the lights and this is where they've been for the past month and I planted these on March 9th and some of them have grown a lot faster than others and I'm using shop lights that I got from actually I got these from Amazon the the lights themselves I got from from Lowe's for I got like a 12 pack or something for pretty cheap but these are 6500 Kelvin T8 bulbs and they seem to be doing a pretty good job and the most important thing about growing tomatoes is the positioning of the light. The light needs to be one to two inches from the, the top of the plant because that is what causes the legginess if you don't have it close enough. And I've also got this fan on set to low and I think that helps with the keeping them strong and not getting so leggy. And it's also timed with the light. So I have the light set to be on for 16 hours a day. And some people say to do 24 hours for the first week or so. I didn't do that. I just started them at 16 hours a day. Once the true leaves start coming out, then you can add some liquid fertilizer. So I like to bottom water and I'll, I'll, put, I'll put water in here probably every maybe once once or twice a week when they were smaller but as they've gotten bigger they've required a lot more water so you just have to look at the look at the soil and you can tell by the color if it needs water or not um, if it's dry then it'll be a really light light color so we're getting ready to get these transplanted to a bigger pot because they're well overdue they're still in the original seed starting mixtures and I'm sure they're getting root bound. So I haven't looked at the roots to see how root bound they are yet, but we'll see when we transplant them. <laughs> 